If doing more cooking at home was one of your New Year's resolutions, we've got you covered. Welcome to Ms. Mojo, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 things you should learn to cook in 2018. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're looking at some of the upcoming food trends of 2018, but we're also including some classic recipes that you should try if you haven't mastered them yet. Number 10. Banana Bread This not-quite-dessert-yet-not-quite-regular bread is an old-school classic and people have been giving them as hostess gifts for generations. It's my understanding that an unsolicited gift of food can be a precursor to an impromptu invitation to come in and chat. It's a super easy recipe to learn. And when you want to bring something home-baked to a potluck, it's the perfect crowd pleaser. Hey, neighbors. I made you some banana bread. Hey, hey oh, I love banana bread. Not to mention, it gives you something to do with all those frozen brown bananas you've been keeping in your freezer just in case. And other than the bananas, all the other ingredients are pantry staples, so you can hopefully even avoid making a trip to the store. Number 9. Chickpea Salad If you're trying to eat less meat this year, you've probably encountered some challenges when it comes to preparing lunch for yourself. Salads are great and all, but sometimes you want something a little heartier. I prefer chickpea. Because it's lower in sodium? Yes, exactly. Okay. Making chickpea salad sandwiches as alternatives to chicken salad sandwiches will give you the dose of protein you need midday. Of course, you can use the canned stuff in a pinch, but buying dried chickpeas and soaking them not only saves you money, but also makes for a much more versatile ingredient. God bless a chickpea. <laughs> Number 8. Apple Tart Apple Tart, excellent choice, Lily Pads. Marshmallow. Mm. This dessert is a little more ambitious than some of the entries on our list today, but it has an end result that is sure to wow. But what about the apple tarts? You wait all year for those apple tarts. <sighs> I can live without the apple tarts. You've made up songs after eating five of them with lyrics that contradict that last statement. The rose petal shaped layout of the apple slices on top is a real showstopper and will make your friends wonder when you became such a master baker. Making your own tart shell is key for the authenticity of the dish, but while you're practicing, it wouldn't be the end of the world to just use a pre-made pie crust. In the end, the techniques used to make apple tart are universally useful, and it's worth putting in the effort to up your baking game. Number 7. Roasted Vegetables Did you grow up eating boring old steamed vegetables as a side dish with your dinner every night? And a very special, very delicious steamed vegetable dish for Chris. Oh, I hate vegetables. Of course, steaming veggies is healthier than other forms of cooking, because it requires no oil or fat to cook. What you lose, though, is often, well, flavor. Roasting vegetables packs a much bigger punch when it comes to taste, and it may even revolutionize the way you consume your veggies. You may have already roasted root vegetables like sweet potatoes and carrots, but you can diversify by tossing even things like broccoli or mushrooms in your oven for amazing results. Number 6. Lentil Tortilla Soup if you play Maybe I'm Amazed backwards, you'll hear a recipe for a really ripping lentil soup. You've heard of lentil soup, and you've heard of tortilla soup, but have you ever heard of combining them? Tortilla soup is typically made with chicken, but if you're trying to eliminate meat from your diet for ethical or health reasons, you can mix things up by using lentils instead. You will totally forget that you were supposed to have meat in this dish when you taste it, because the lentils and seasonings make it deliciously filling. This is a great recipe to try with a pressure cooker, if it's a kitchen gadget you want to test out. Number 5. Quinoa Bowls Tonight, we're going to eat your mother's little red pebbles. It's quinoa. Yeah, so it is. Over the last few years, quinoa has gone from fringe health food to cultural phenomenon to kitchen mainstay. Now that the craze has died down, we're still using the super healthy grain in our cooking as much as possible. One of the most versatile ways to use it is in veggie quinoa bowls. The quinoa provides both your carbs and protein, and the topping can be pretty much whatever you've got in your fridge. Learn to make a savory dressing to go with it, and you'll look forward to lunchtime all day long. Number 4. Bell Pepper Tacos We're betting that lots of you are trying to cut carbs in 2018, since evidence is snowballing that shows how beneficial a low-carb, high-fat diet can be. Although we know nutritional advice changes almost every day, right? It's tangy like a pepper, but crunchy like a bell. Bell pepper! Don't worry, though. 
That doesn't mean you have to do away with taco night altogether. Rather than using corn or wheat tortillas, though, assemble your taco fixins in a pepper instead. I think I will have the for whom the stuffed bell pepper totals. <laughs> You'll still get all the amazing flavors you expect, but in a way that's more veg-heavy and gluten-free. Enjoy your fiesta! Number 3. Instant Pot Recipes If you dread how long it takes to get dinner ready after work every day, then we've got the kitchen appliance for you. The Instant Pot is a gadget that claims to take over the jobs of seven of your standard kitchen tools. It sounds almost too good to be true, but it actually is an amazing device. And the best part is, it retails for around $100, on sale at least. This multifunctional pressure cooker can make preparing rice and steel-cut oats a breeze, and can even replace your slow cooker for dishes like pulled pork or ribs. Give it a try and we think you won't be disappointed. Number 2. Chicken Parm this Italian-American classic is a staple in restaurants. But did you know that it's not all that hard to make at home? Remember, I went to the restaurant that first night and you ordered chicken parmesan, so I drew you a plate. Um, there's the chicken, and the cheese. All you need to do is master the art of breading meat, do a little shallow frying, and voila! Your chicken is ready to be put in a bed of marinara sauce, smothered with cheese, and baked to perfection. It's a great choice if you're hosting a dinner party and want to offer up some indulgent comfort food. If this seems like too much for you, stick to mastering the basics with sautéed chicken. Number 1. Plant-Based Meats One of the biggest food trends predicted for 2018 is all about meats scientifically created without harming a single animal in the process. Obviously, this is an appealing concept for anyone concerned with animal rights and the environment. The problem is, many of these products haven't even hit the market yet, which means we're left experimenting at home. Luckily, recreating things like burgers, ground beef, and even chicken are totally possible in your own kitchen if you're willing to put the work in and get creative. Mm. Tastes like chicken. Slimy yet satisfying. Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from Ms. Mojo and subscribe for new videos every day.